Well, good morning. Welcome to Green Valley United Methodist Church. My name is Mark Maddox. I'm one of your pastors here, and our associate pastor, Pastor Mike, should be back with us just in a few weeks. He's convalescing after uh, hip surgery, and I'm still convalescing after finger surgery, so you join me in a word of prayer now. Our gracious and loving God, we come before you this morning just prepared to worship you. God, as we come here this morning, we're bringing worries with us, we're bringing fears with us, we're bringing all, all kinds of stuff with us, God, into the service that's on our hearts. Help us trust in you and let go. God, as we center ourselves during this service, help us focus on you and our faith and journey with you. And in Christ we pray, amen. stand and join me in the call to worship. Our veterans offered themselves for our country. Let us never forget the sacrifices made for us. Our first scripture reading this morning is from Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. The word of God for the people of God.
what shall we offer our Lord? Our Lord who gives us life, who gives us every everlasting life. What can you give to a God that's so great? Well, I think the first thing we do is we, we give our thanks. We give our gratitude. Would you join me in prayer now as we go to God in prayer? Gracious and loving God, what can we give you? A God who sacrificed everything for us, a God who's given us all that there is. Well, God, we thank you. God, we thank you so much. God, we thank you for the ways that you've created us, the ability to love, the ability to celebrate, the ability to feel deeply. So God, we thank you that we can be here in this place today to worship you, to give you thanks for everything that you have poured out to us. And God, as we come here this morning, there's many of us who are here who have joy-filled hearts. We're happy about so many things that happen and are happening and continue to happen in our lives. For those around us, the relationships, our children, our parents. And God, as we just continue walking this life, we give you thanks. And God, we know that life is not easy, that there are struggles, there's fears, there's worries about tomorrow. God, in my hand, I, I hold here a lot of prayer, prayer requests. And God, many of these prayer requests today have to do with medical concerns, just issues dealing with all kinds of scary medical concerns. God, we, we lift these up to you, as well as the other concerns that are here on these cards, all of them in their own right, and the people who have filled them out feel deeply about these things. And so, God, together as a church family, we lay all these prayer concerns on your altar here. And God, help us trust in you. Help us, God, have faith in tomorrow. Help us realize, God, that no matter what happens today, you are with us always, every day, for all of life. And that, God, we don't need to worry so much about what tomorrow will bring. For we have today to celebrate. So help us embrace those in our lives today and embrace the joys we have now. For God, you have given us that hope of tomorrow, that hope of all tomorrows through our faith in Christ. For that sacrifice that Jesus had made for us, we have that gift of life everlasting. So God, help us never lose that hope. Help us always continue down that journey of faith. So God, this morning, as a family of faith that are brought together by hope through you, we remember your son Jesus and the hope he's brought to this world by praying that prayer that he taught his disciples to pray, by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
today, we're going to have a slight uh, um, slideshow, a short slideshow, uh, highlighting some of the people who have sent in pictures of themselves during their days in the military. So as we give an offering back, let us remember those who have given an offering as well. And thanks to all of our veterans.
And as we go forward today, let us ask God to bless this country, bless the future, and let us trust in God that this country is in good hands because they're in God's hands. Let us go forth today and trust and believe and honor God in all we do. Amen.